Here we have a case of diffuse nodular lung disease, innumerable nodules throughout the lungs. As you scroll through, maybe there is a posterior predominance, but otherwise in the axial plane looks to be pretty random. Some areas peripheral predominance, so maybe you would say it's peripheral and posterior lung preponderant. Within the zonal plane, so that's superior, inferior, I think there probably is a basal predominance or maybe it's diffuse in the zonal plane, but certainly not upper lung preponderant. So we see all these nodules, a lot of them are sort of ground glass or sub-solid attenuation. Let me mag up on the right lung, kind of better demonstrate these areas. So again, ground glass or subsolid attenuation. Some of these are actually cavitary, if you look very carefully, almost have that Cheerio-like configuration. Some here, some over here, some frankly cavitary like in here in the right lower lobe. But many have this feeling of this Cheerio-like configuration. If you guys aren't familiar what I mean by this Cheerio-like configuration, I encourage you to read this article so this was published in the journal Thoracic Imaging back in 2003 in the Science and Cardiopulmonary Imaging section. The primary author was Chow and the senior author here was Pippa Vath. But this is a nice description of that, the Cheerio sign or Cheerios sign. And so the you know, people actually call them Cheerios, right? Not Cheerio, but I, I think people use both Cheerio and Cheerios sign. And so what's the difference in diagnosis? Uh, you can have multifocal adenocarcinoma giving you this appearance, as well as pulmonary lung and cell histiocytosis. In my experience, pulmonary lung and cell histiocytosis is the most likely diagnosis that causes this pattern when it's a diffuse nodular lung disease pattern. But we know that PLCH is almost always an upper lung preponderant process, or certainly would give you relative basal sparing, which we're not seeing here. Here, we're actually seeing maybe basal predominance, if not diffuse distribution in the zonal plane. So I think that more or less excludes pulmonary lung and cell histiocytosis. As radiologists, we very seldom say never, but in this case, I think we can say never. So pulmonary lung and cell histiocytosis should never be base or predominant and should nearly always give you some degree of base or sparing, especially in the costophrenic angles, which again, we're not seeing here. Other things to think about include metastatic adenocarcinoma and then this. So this is meningothelial-like nodules or minute pulmonary meningothelial-like nodules. And that's what the diagnosis is in this case. I've seen maybe seven or eight of these cases live. And so we, we saw this case recently come through. And so this just has that look, this feeling of basal predominant disease. Again, in this case, maybe it's only predominant, but I feel like it's probably basal predominant. It has this kind of smudgy nodules, innumerable smudgy nodules, many of them of, with a cavitary feel to them. So what do you do with these patients? Well, I mean, really tissue is the issue here. You, to make a definitive diagnosis, I think you need tissue. You could certainly follow these patients closely to look at these nodules and make sure none of these nodules start to present themselves actually as an adenocarcinoma. But to make definitive diagnosis, I think you really do need a tissue. Which is, which is unfortunate. Though certainly in many of the cases that I've seen in, in actual clinical practice, these patients are simply followed uh, very closely with imaging. So nice case here of meningothelial-like nodules. Other things to think about when we see these Cheerio sign or these small nodules that have this sort of Cheerio-like configuration. Again, nice example right here in the right lower lobe. Let's find one more example just to kind of talk through. So another one down here in the right lower lobe. When you see that other things to think about, you can think about cavitary nodules as well, though these don't really look like that, but you can invoke your differential diagnosis of cavitary nodules, which obviously includes cavitary metastases, infection, things that are vasculitic, for example, granulomatosis with polyanginous, even necrobiotic nodules from rheumatoid arthritis. But this look, these kind of smudgy nodules, innumerable basal predominant Cheerio sign, this really feels like meningothelia-like nodules, a rare diagnosis, but I don't think it's as rare as the literature says it is.